Day two in fast started with a hearty breakfast. Moroccan pancakes, chapati, olives, and jams are typical breakfast here. Then I dove straight into a jam-packed schedule. I walk fast. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, because you've got longer legs, but it's good. This is Youssef, a warm and incredibly supportive member of the Riyadh staff where I'm staying. Navigating fast can be quite the adventure. Uber and efficient public transportation are non-existent here. It's never easy to get a cab here. But this is the only way. The flagging. Oh, he's running, yes. Oh no, somebody took it. Getting a cab can be tricky, especially since my French and Arabic are limited. Yes? What do you want? Wait. Oh, do you want to go back? I want to with the satellite is better. Ah, okay. The local system here charmingly old-fashioned. Cabs often share rides if destinations aligned, and drivers rely on landmarks rather than digital maps to find their way. I have no idea. Oh, we have an event. Event. See. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No apartment. Company. It's a delightful throwback to pre-digital times. Today I'm traveling from the historic old Medina to the modern city center, which boasts sleek new buildings and bustling businesses. My driver, while experienced, wasn't familiar with my destination. A quick call to the organizing team helped us get back on track. Okay, okay, Hazar is good. Okay, I'll see you soon. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I'm good. I'm on my way. I was calling Hajar uh, with a taxi driver because uh, I'm almost there. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so, uh, I had so to. Like to yeah, driver. yep, she did. Okay, perfect. All right, okay, see you. Perfect. So we will we'll be there for you. Okay. okay. How are you? Welcome. Good to meet you. Salam. <laughs> Salam. Oh! Hey, Gali! El Gali, who's been the mastermind behind all our partnerships, seamless organization. Was good. I slept really good. Hey. One of the important agenda for me in the morning was a hybrid talk engagement yes, with the Global Shapers Fast Hub. It's hot. It's really hot. This is so cozy place. It is a lot. It is a lot. Yeah. And what is this company? Moving? 
Mubdi. Mubdi is basically Mubdi. Uh, a company that works with kids. So they have lots of trainings and, and, and uh, workshops around the technology. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So they have lots of workshops on technology, robotics, AI, so they train kids for the future. Okay. Like, uh, that's their philosophy. And right now they're, they're, they're trying to uh, produce something new. It's like a, a, a box, a subscription oh. box, so people can like play the wow, same things smart. but art. So they can learn as well. Are they a uh, startup here? It, it's a startup, yeah. Startup, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is a startup. It's been an activity, I think, since a couple of years now. It's okay. been doing well. Uh, uh, Snow is oh, the a part CEO of... and founder, and, oh, and okay. he's awesome. He's one of our for one of the first mm. shapers and mm. the hub. And he's uh, really active. Mm. So. Okay. Great. Uh, great yes. Work. Yes. Um, <laughs> he has been generously given us the space for like yeah. lots of meetings yeah. and yeah. Uh, and uh, cool, he's cool, always, cool. always been mm. given the support. Before we begin, I'd love to. I always do this. I wanna invite everyone to have a collective we engaged in a thought-provoking session on mindfulness and mindful leadership fundamentals before heading out for lunch. Let's go. Yes. Wow, fancy. Look at this. A shuttle. Hello. I just. <laughs> For notes, it's a type of bread. Okay. Uh, very traditional bread coming from uh, the Amazigh community of, of Morocco. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's um, it, it has a, a, a particular way of, of making it. Uh, a particular also way of cooking it. Um, it's way different than normal bread. This so is this normal. is normal one. This is, is normal, normal bread. And this is this is whole bread. Okay. This is whole bread. Right? Whole wheat. Whole, whole wheat. Whole yes. Bread. This is a tachinut, which we cook it like in some kind of rocks. Rocks. Yes. Rocks. Over rocks. This, so these are this craters okay. of the rocks. These are craters of rocks. Okay. So those we cook it in rocks. And smells very good. Yeah, it smells really good. What was naming? Tachinut. 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 Yes, it's an Amazon name. Wow. So that's, this a, is a that's a lot of explanation for one piece of bread. Yeah. <laughs> because, because, because it's it's part of a culture. You cannot, yes. you cannot like. A, See, it's such a cultural ambassador here. You guys are. All cultural ambassador, and I learned a lot we from have yesterday. We proud yeah. community. <laughs> if you came a tiny bit early, you would there not was a catch festival? the festival. Yeah. 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 There's another festival. Yeah. Yeah. There's another festival. Yeah. Festival. Yeah. There's another festival. Yeah. Yeah. It's very fusion. Yes. Wrapped with oh, the no. French fries. Yes. Yeah. Simple as that. You, you, you have to remember this. We're gonna, you're gonna see another dish. Like, this the tangia, the tangia. That's tangia. Called tangia. It's originally from Marrakesh. Yeah. And it's like a big part when you cook meat, and it gets you know, we cook it like for a very long period of time, yeah, yeah, like four yeah. hours, five hours, five hours, and yeah, it gets caramelized. Slow yeah, it's slow yeah. cooking, yeah. and it's yeah. very delicious. Okay. And you go to Marrakesh, you have to try. Okay. Marrakesh is known for. As all he's eating rep. <laughs> You're not eating anything because we No, eating. not yet. <laughs> Pasta. This is. Liver? Liver, yeah. These new friends were so passionate teaching me about the history of cuisine. But funny enough, they all ordered the fusion menu. Of course, I had to try Tajin, the traditional one. Here's a healthy mm. food. Okay, touching mm. big size. Yes. Our next stop was the Chamber of Commerce Fest. Here we explored the growing tech interest and innovative solutions being developed by young Moroccan entrepreneurs. Fancy. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> 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 I 
The government's focus on funding and collaboration was a key topic as we sought to discover potential partnerships both domestically and internationally. Mohammed assisted with a simultaneous interpretation, ensuring clear communication throughout for me. Our last, last stop, last stop, yes. <laughs> Next, we toured one of our sponsors and partners, the private university of FES. Their campus is a hub of innovation with a strong emphasis on fields like engineering, science, medicine, renewable energy, clean tech, and more of important uh, key parts that help uh, in uh, like building entrepreneurs and building future engineers, mm. uh, future business owners, and, and as well, they have lots of, I think, uh, courses for, for entrepreneurship for business. Yes. Okay. Cube 789. Mm. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, they visit, she visited yesterday. They visited yesterday. Ah, yeah. They got inspired the, the name. They got mm. the name from uh, the University of Karawin, which is the oh, oldest still running university in the world, in uh, the old Medina. Oh, wow. And it was fun. It was uh, it's it's it was launched in uh, seven eight mm. nine. So mm -hmm. they got inspired from the name. So. Oh wow! Is the new building of uh, the research and innovation okay. for PhD students okay. and for the research professor. Mm -hmm. We visited their entrepreneurship incubator and met with key faculty members over delicious Moroccan teas and sweets. The research center, the research center, the research that uh, oh, we are visiting wow, wow. with all materials. Okay, and, uh, you must be proud of um, your research team. We 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 learned about the work you your team did. Yeah, it's uh, fascinating. <laughs> I also shared my impressions of fast culture, industry, and our first collaborative events with the local youth in a brief interview. The day stretched from 9 a.m. with back-to-back -back meetings and events. As the evening approached, El Gali and a few team members invited me to a casual snack spot popular with the local youth. It was a perfect way to unwind, listen to the ladies' Moroccan music, and experience the local hangout vibe. Choosing what to order was a serious business. These friends took their time to curate the menu of local delicacies for me to savor. And he lives in there? Of course not. But when he's in fast, uh. he lives there. Uh, okay. But right now, okay. Not. Where but is he based? In Marrakesh? Uh, he's now, I think, in Rabat. Rabat, okay. So each city has a palace for him? Two, three or more for palaces. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The night drive through Fes, accompanied by a cool breeze and the rhythm of music, was a perfect <gasps> end to a productive day. The in front of us. That's a palace of yeah. Yeah. Oh, How big is that? Wow. Mm. You can also visit it and stuff. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you can see from here. Wow. That's gorgeous. Yeah. 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 It's gorgeous. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Is it? Is it thicker in this city in the world? 
I'm not making it. I know the first one is Italian and the second one is Moroccan, right? Yeah. There is a lot of classifications. Yeah, so but I'm like, who's judging that? Who's ranking uh, it? Specialist. Specialist. Yeah. But I, I really appreciate the Moroccan cuisine. It was so good so far. Yeah, I loved it. Passing by the majestic palace, I was immersed in Morocco's rich history and vibrant community spirit. And we have a good relationship between Korea and Morocco too. I have a really? yeah, I have a Our deep conversations on everything from cuisine to politics continued as we made our way back to the Medina. Did you just scold <laughs> or, or is this a normal way of talking? Okay, no, way. no uh, don't forget, uh, I'm a professor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to handle this kind of situations. <laughs> Engaging in open philosophical discussions with the local friends provided a profound and authentic understanding of Moroccan culture and Islamic values. Uh, this is just a normal way of talking? Yeah. Like I thought energetic, he's fighting. Energetic uh, way. Okay. Today was a treasure trove of knowledge, inspiration, and wisdom about life and humanity. I met a medical university here for the Hackathon Health Tech event hosted by a Faculty of Medicine in the university. Let's go check it out. I'm actually late. I was supposed to be here from 9.30, but I had to deal with some um, yeah, urgent personal business work because I haven't been able to do anything any of those for the past uh, three days so let's see day three in fast is here and it's my final day in this incredible city I see the sign right there health tech innovation day I guess maybe I should just follow the sign it's beautiful Good morning. Hey, nice to meet this you. Kerry, yeah. AJ, are you global? Oh, yes, shapers. Finally, I met you too. One of the awesome global shapers of Is it? Yeah, you've got all those awesome members. I have I've, best members. I've met only best people yes. in FES. I'm so glad. Right? I'm so glad. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, the conference really has been good. Well. Yeah. Have you networked a lot? Uh, yeah, they're, they're just launching the panel. And ah, really okay, okay. How was the Today, content? I had an opportunity to connect with the, the professionals from the health and phones. technology sectors at the yeah. Health Tech Hackathon Conference. Uh, okay. A really, really cool company, which basically is the first uh, um, fully cloud uh, solution mm. that, make, that makes management of uh, pharmacies really easy and really automatic as well. Okay, so it's the pharmaceutical. It's the number one solution in Africa and Europe as well. Oh, and it's wow, that must be really, really big. It's a huge, big, a huge Oof. company. Okay, and it's still a startup? No? It's, it's uh, technically a startup because they're, they're like, you know, um, yeah. they're very competitive, big. That's a mosque. Oh. That's a whole restaurant. For Beautiful. You need, to, you need to go to school this here? Is the, yes, I go to school ah. here. This is the biggest medical simulation center in all of okay. Africa. Okay. So it's really huge. It's beautiful. I also had a chance to introduce myself and my work on the stage for potential partnerships and collaborations focused on mental health and well-being and leadership. Hello and thank you. 
Thank you for your presentation. It was uh, really good to hear about mental health in uh, such a yes, yes, because it's a health um, health tech event, and I think that there's a, there must be synergetic points. Of course, and of also course. all the leaders and innovators are significant. You know, they have to build their own. Resilience. Yes. We would love to have you maybe someday in our school. It's an engineering school. Engineering school. Yes. Sure. Artificial intelligence. I'll give you my card. Yeah. Yes. Workshop. Innovation. Conference, whatever. We're gonna just email me. Yes. And we're gonna yes. speak, and we'll okay. be gladly cool. uh, having you at our school if, right. uh, if possible. Sounds great. AI people need to think about that way. Ethical. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Solutions. Of course. Of course. And yeah. it's. Uh, like uh, many, many students, IT yeah. students. Mm -hmm. This is our lovely faculty. Yes. This is like where usually they host Lunch was jaw-dropping. Every Friday, Moroccans enjoy eating the traditional dish, couscous, my first couscous. It is usually served in a communal dish and represents the opportunity to gather and share with family and friends. The most classic version of this famous dish is with seven vegetables and meat. It was a delightful and hearty meal. Till the dessert, topped off with a pile of the juiciest, sweetest fruits, Moroccan figs were definitely my favorite. Wow, it's very nice. Thank you, Booster. We're gonna do the podcast, podcast. recording. Yes, um, quickly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make I it very thing. brief, but very meaningful. This is actually ah. No. Where from? No, Korea. Nice meeting you too. Which uh, city? Uh, Seoul? No, Seoul. Ah, you're welcome. <laughs> no, the tour guide, if you want to see the Medina tomorrow. No, I, I already did. I spent here three weeks. Ah, nice. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to nice meet you people. too. Korea yes. <laughs> Thank you. you. Salam. Wow. This is the first time walking alone. I've always been with somebody, local people. In Morocco, sharing is truly caring. The community-driven, humble nature of this culturally rich place reminded me of the simple joys and deep connections often lost in the hustle and bustle of big city life in North America. In cities where time is money and people are focused on their own path with mentalities like don't beat around the bush, you do you, and stay in your lane, it's easy to become numb to the fundamental human connections that make life meaningful. Every moment spent in fast has been a profound reminder of what it means to be truly human. And I'm so blessed and lucky to have met these people and opportunities to learn about life again.